episode 5 of this awesome show called I Am Kenny Biddle. And you know what? I happen to be Kenny Biddle. Fucking A. Anyway, today's episode has to do with, oh, I don't know, a recent development um, called The Call Out. Let me explain. Um, there are names such as uh, Trolls, Bully, uh, Hater, Jealous, Asshole, all names I've been called before, and a lot recent, recently, yeah, in the last couple of weeks. It all has to do with this call-out. Let me explain what the call-out is. See, this is, this is pretty much how it goes. Okay, ghost hunters go out on a stakeout. It's not an investigation, because you don't investigate. You stake out and wait for something to happen. Okay, so you go out, you, you're staking out a haunted place. Okay, you take pictures, you take video, you take audio recordings, all kinds of spooky shit going on, and once it's done, you bring it all back, everyone goes over it, well, from what I've observed, one person goes over it, and then the rest of the team just says, okay, whatever you say. So it's gone over, and then it's posted on their website or their Facebook account as evidence of the paranormal. Anyway, so, eventually, somebody comes along, say, me, or someone like me, and they start looking at some of these pictures and these videos, and they're saying, no, uh-uh, there's something wrong here, there's something just not right, and we start saying, hey, you know, could it be this, could it be that, uh, Here's an alternate explanation for it. Here's a natural explanation for it because we've done this before. We've gotten the same results. <sighs> yeah. This is where the fun begins. Because the basic pattern, the, the routine that happens now is that once, once I state what I think it is, then the person that took the photo or the video or the guy in charge or the girl in charge, they come back at me, no, no, it, it can't possibly be what you said because we're, we're an experienced and professional team. We know what we're talking about. Um, yeah. And most of the time they come with the tagline like, oh, well, you know what? It, 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 it's definitely paranormal activity because what when this happened, when we took this picture, then our K2 meter was going off. It was like on yellow. The, the light on the K2 was yellow. And that's like, that's like ghost right there. That's, that's a ghost. Bullshit. So, with that, I usually shoot back trying to be polite. I try to be as polite as I can, at first. I know, it's strange. You, you know, from seeing these videos, you, how can Kenny Biddle be polite? I can, fuckers. Alright? Anyway, so I'll come back with a detailed explanation. This is exactly how it's done. This is what you did. This is what the camera did. Um, this was, These were the conditions that were going on at the time, based on your reports, blah, 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 blah. Full detailed, usually it's like three or four paragraphs long. And you know, it's, it's when you see it on Facebook, it's, it's always the, that kind of post that has the see more little link that you have to click to open up the rest of the paragraphs. Yeah. That's how much I put on there, which usually gets the response of, uh, well, you don't know what you're talking about because you weren't there. So if you weren't there, then you have no idea what was going on and you can't tell what it was. Guess what, fucktard? Yes, I can. When you look at photographs, there's a lot of clues in the photographs. You also put up reports about when you took the photograph and the investigation stakeout that you went on, where you took the photograph. So I take all those clues, because that's basically an eyewitness report from you guys saying what happened. I take that. I take clues from the pictures that you post, the videos that you post. I look at everything and determine, yeah, I can figure out what this is. Yes, bitches, it can be done. So this usually goes back and forth a few times. I give the detailed descriptions, they give bullshit, I give more details, they give more bullshit. 
huh? And it's it's a shame. Let me, let me get something straight. I don't come in usually, usually with guns blazing or my lightsaber going. I usually try to start off very polite, very nice, just offering an alternate explanation, as opposed to your fucking orbs or ghosts or your fucking shadow person that you photoshopped into the picture is a ghost. Okay? I usually try to come off really polite. Doesn't always work, but hey, you know, I, I try. And usually if, if, you know, I can't get through to the person, they just don't understand the concept or won't grasp the concept, then I, I just walk away. Um, that's, that's all I can do. Because it'll get to the point where we're just arguing back and forth, and they won't get what I'm saying, and I won't, you know, accept their stupidity. No. However, if I come across an obvious fake, and I'm talking like a sci-fi channel, original movie, special effects, really bad fake, because, those, honestly, they suck. And you're trying to pass it off as, as real. You know, such as like, you know, the, the, the goners fuck up. Um, the, uh, the zombie road pictures that I've seen, um, taken, and, and they're like all shadow people that apparently, you know, they're either team members that he just darkened the fucking photo, or they're shadow people that he made in Photoshop and just inserted into the picture. And they're, they're horrible. Horrible. Anyway. So if it's, it's, if it's an obvious fake, you motherfuckers don't get any politeness at all. You don't get shit. So if you want to call me a fucking troll, you want to call me a fucking hater, a bully, fuck you. That's what I say. Because you're the one that fucking faked the shit. So you deserve every bitching and moaning and complaining and harassment from websites and groups. You get it all. You deserve it all. It's your own fucking fault. You fake shit... You pay the consequences, bitch. You deserve to get called out publicly and ridiculed for your unintelligent decision to fake a photo so that you can pretend to be awesome when you're not awesome. I am. Back to the topic at hand, which is the call out. If you get called out, you should be confident enough in your evidence to answer questions because that's what's going to happen. They're going to come to you People like me, people like um, awesome groups like Worst Paranormal. I fucking love those guys. You're gonna get called out by the uh, my buddies over at the Paranormal Revolution. You're gonna get called out by Parafraud and the Bent Spoon Magazine and Carolyn's Creepy Corner and who else? Who else? Uh, la 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 da da. Beyond bullshit. These are all great websites that I go to because they call out fuckers like you. So they're going to question you, and you, you, you can't just freak out and call people skinheads and haters, and they're just jealous of your fame because they question your evidence. If you post a picture of a fucking orb, then you better be able to prove that that orb is what you say it is, because it comes down to this. The burden of proof is on the person making the claim. So if you bring me a picture and say, this is a shadow person, it's up to you to prove to me and anybody else that this is in fact a shadow person. Yes, mind blowing, I know, but it is up to you. And not only do you have to prove that this is a shadow person in your photograph, well, you have to prove that shadow people exist. There you go. That's a lot of work. You gotta prove it. You gotta show some kind of studies. You gotta show independent review, peer review. Okay? That's how science works. And you know what? Something else. Science. I hate these fucking people that say, Oh, well, you know what? Science can't solve everything, so I can't trust it. Um, it isn't perfected. It doesn't explain everything. Yeah. Alright. I admit that science doesn't explain everything. But you know what? It explains your fucking orbs. It explains your fucking shadow people. And your fucking ecto. It explains your light streaks. Because you lose... You use... I can't even talk. I'm so pissed off. 
It uses your fucking long exposure to make all, all these lights streak across the camera. And so when you have that image that comes up and it's all over the place, lights are all over, all these lines, and you're like, what the fuck? This must be paranormal. You're a fucking idiot! That's not how it works. Because science has figured it out. They know through the science of photography what makes these effects on your images. And professional photographers, real ones, that really actually get paid to take pictures and know how to use their camera. We've all been able to figure out what causes these effects and we can demonstrate it. So guess what? You should listen to the fucking professionals. Not your TV shows, not other groups that aren't professional photographers, but still post pictures. Don't listen to authors that simply write ghost stories because although I love a classic ghost story, the authors of such are usually not professional photographers or videographers, audio engineers, shit like that. They're not. So they are not experts on what you're bringing them. Oh yeah. When you come up with shit saying that science doesn't know everything and it can't explain what I have and I, I can't explain because it's spiritual in nature and I can see it because I'm a seer and I can point out sometimes I don't get no, no, no. You are not making a case for your orbs and ecto and all your bullshit to be paranormal. You're making yourself look like a fucking idiot. Okay? So, when you get called out, here's my advice. Post stuff that you are ready to answer questions for. Alright? That's it's pretty simple. If you're going to post something and then make up shit when people question where you got it, how you got it, what do you think it is? Isn't Couldn't it be this? When you start making shit up, you don't know shit. You're an idiot. And and that's it. Your evidence is just trash. It's, it's gone. You should be able to post a picture and someone comes up to you, like me, and asks you questions and you should be able to answer every single fucking question. If you can't, it's not evidence. I mean, granted, half the shit, well, not even half the shit, like 90% of the shit out there is not evidence of anything. It's just pictures of dust and and shadows. I don't get it. Anyway, so when you're calling somebody a bully and a troll, think about what you're doing. Because maybe they're just asking questions. If they want proof, the burden lies on you. The burden lies on the person that's making the claim. So if they want proof, you should be able to provide it. If you can't, don't fucking get mad and start calling them names, because it's up. To, it, it's your fault. It's basically what it comes down to. <sighs> See you next time. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or other topics that you want me to talk about, please leave it in the comments below, or uh, you can contact me over Facebook. I am a Kenny Biddle. Awesome. A W S M. A good friend request me if you want. If you turn out to be a dick, I'll delete you right away. Um, what else? If you have any complaints, you can get them to Lou in California because he's on my Facebook. You'll find him. He always posts weird shit. Um, he's also Mexican, so be careful. He will stab your ass if you're stupid. Um, heading out actually in, well, as I'm filming this, I have about 20 minutes before I leave for Louisville, Kentucky because I'm attending the Mid-South Conference where I'm going to meet some people that I've never met before yet I talk to constantly. And there's going to be a lot of people there with evidence. Can't wait to see them and talk to them people. Be sure to look for the next video because uh, I plan on doing a video recap of the Mid-South Convention with some of the people that I talk to and some of the people that probably I will get into an argument with should be fun. So, with that, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to jump in the car.